There is an unhealthy shortage of workers in the healthcare industry. Now, as Kega 9's Craig Smith reports, an expanded healthcare training school on Tucson's south side will help prepare more workers to look after your health. If you ever had trouble getting medical care because they are just so shorthanded on trained medical workers, you'll be happy to hear about this story. Pima JTED, a technical education school, is opening a new branch specifically dedicated to medical education. This ribbon cutting opens the door to more than a building. It opens career opportunities for high school students to start down the path to medical careers. Janae Poole is using JTED to train towards a career in mental health counseling. I saw this one and it just really spoke out to me and it re made me really want to explore and see what this this program can do for me. And this program has done nothing but give me so much opportunities and give me hands-on experience that I can use in the real world. Governor Katie Hobbs says the medical programs will help meet a growing need in a growing state. Our growing and aging population means that one of the work for, one of the greatest workforce needs we have is in health care. Rosa Ortiz graduated from JTED. She's back on the staff working with current students as she uses the boost JTED gave her to succeed in the pre-nursing program at the University of Arizona. I really like helping people and then I really like helping little kids because I want to become a pediatric nurse. So I feel like if I get a stepping stone with helping high school kids, then it'll help me be prepared to become that pediatric nurse. Helping to create the new building is an expansion of Mel and Edith Zuckerman's commitment to health. They founded Canyon Ranch, a series of resorts dedicated to healthy living. They are also behind the School of Public Health at the University of Arizona. On Tucson's south side, Craig Smith, Cake on 9. And it's programs like that one that Craig just told us about that are going to help alleviate shortages in fields like nursing. So I wanted to dig a little bit deeper today on this story. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, excuse me, there will be 195,400 openings for registered nurses here in Arizona from 2021 to 2031. The National Center for Health Workforce Analysis predicts that statewide We'll have 28,100 fewer RNs than are needed by next year, which is a bigger disparity than any other state in the country. Today, we spoke to Mimi Kumler. She's the CEO at TMC and a nurse on how we got to this shortage in the first place. There has been a nursing shortage for quite some time. And as the population ages and healthcare consumption grows, we've needed to expand the overall nursing workforce. Uh, in addition, we saw a lot of folks retire during COVID. People opted out of working in healthcare, and um, there were a lot of different and new competitors. She went on to tell us that programs like JTED will play a significant role in getting more people into healthcare. She also adds that technology and AI evolving will help make the jobs easier in the industry.